Hello friends, welcome back to episode 2 of The Long Dark. Uh, this is our stalker survival. We've made it through the first brutal night. Freezing, freezing cold outside. And look, we are inside and we're already in the corner. You can see we're losing temperature. It is even, even inside this building. We are cold. So we are going to get a fire started and warm up some tea before we head out and explore. It's still a little bit early in the day, almost almost afternoon. Almost noon, I should say. Let's uh, use our torch and get this big old stove started. And uh, we can warm up a little bit, uh, get some tea warm warming before we head out. We're going to go across the street to the country store, see what they have, and then possibly head up to the uh, up to the coal mine. We also have the uh, airplane shipwreck and Skeeter's Ridge here. Could check those out as well. Get a little bit of fuel. Oh, we got all these books here. Let's add some books. Okay, we got lots of teas and coffees we can drop here. Get those warming up. Those should heat up pretty quick. Let's drink a coffee. Might as well. Okay, we'll let those uh, just burn out and do their thing. First thing I want to do is grab these water bottles we left in the road here and we'll bring them back to the community center. Let's just drop these here. Eight liters, wow. Uh, we'll drop half a liter as well. Oh, I guess we could drink that, huh? There we go. I'm still hoping for some clothing. Yay! That is huge. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for the hat. Let's put that on. We need that. We will take the crappy hat. Thank you. Got a little bit of loot around the outside here. Let's take a quick look. Oh, I got a fire barrel. 
here. You know, I don't think I realized that was here before. I'm going that way. Okay, we'll go in the back way. Yeah, it's a little bit dark. Let's. Uh, we'll use a torch. Ah, I hate to wait a ma waste a match though. I'm just gonna try to look real carefully. This will come in here. Thank you, clothing. Yes, that'll be helpful. Coffee's always good. Another stem. Wow. All right, let's put on this shirt. Or was it a? So it was another one of these shirts. So that's 53. It's got a little bit of warmth there. I think I can use this. Oh yeah, there we go. We need sewing kit. Guys, we need sewing kits so we can fix up all our clothing. Okay, guess that's all we got for now. Anything under here? So hard to see. You know, I'm gonna waste a match. But let's use one of our bad torches. Hey, that'll be good. We're doing pretty good for matches. But I do want to uh, be careful. That's huge. Sewing kit, thank you. That's what we needed. We need a few more of them. But uh, we can get some of the condition up on our clothing now. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Maybe I'll take this across the street to the uh, community center. I think we've raided everything in the store. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. All right. has blown out our torch. Looks like there might be a storm coming in. Weather is changing. So perhaps I'm gonna map over here real quick. getting cold already. Is there anything worth grabbing over here? We do have a truck. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, hello Fluffy. Fluffy little wolf. Now where did the wolf go? 
I didn't even see him. Might need to use a flare here. I think we do have lots of flares. If we were warming up in this car, I'd stay here for a little bit, but we are cold. My fingers feel numb. Yeah, we are cold for sure. Um, let's see how many flares we have. I think we have quite a few. So we can, uh, we'll go ahead and use a flare, that's fine. Not sure where the doggo went. There he is. Hello there, doggo. You just keep walking that way, and we can save our flare. Thank you. We will take that. Okay, let's just run on back to the community center. Hello, fluffy dog. Good luck keeping up. Okay, not bad. We got two sewing kits out of that little excursion. Now, did I already search really well in here? I think I did. We got two sewing kits. That is wonderful. Um, it's still pretty early in the day. So we are going to fix up some of our clothing. What are the best items we have here? I guess for now the windbreaker is a good one. And the uh, hoodie. Wool socks would be good to fix. Okay, let's uh, repair this. You know what? might not be a bad idea to read one of those books. I think we had a sewing book, possibly. Did we have a sewing book? No, archery, guns, and uh, fire starting? Cooking, okay. All right, well, let's fix up our clothing then. not having good luck with the sewing. That worked out.
Need more cloth. Okay, and it's getting dark. I think this is making a really big difference for our warmth. So I thought these would be better. I thought these would be warmer. They're only 0.6, but maybe it's because of the condition. 80, 77, 61. It might be worth repairing these. We're going to need some leather though. Let's harvest up these guys. But then it's probably going to be too dark to fix those uh, boots. Oh, we're thirsty. Okay, I better make sure we don't go hungry at least. If we go hungry even for a moment, we're going to lose our well fed bonus opportunity. Alright, we could uh, break down some more of our unused clothing, even though it's dark. Got a sweater. Oh, now I wish I hadn't repaired that hoodie. Wear the, we're going to wear this on the outside. Okay. Well, these, these ski gloves should be good. They're I think those cute gloves are a lot better if we can get those fixed.
Okay, we'll drink up. There should be a bed. Huh. Lots of beds in this area. Alright, we'll sleep for... Well, as long as it will let us, I guess. Okay, early morning. Nice. Could probably get some uh, clothing repairs done. Let's check on our clothing here. I want to fix these gloves. Very nice. Okay, that's looking good, 86%. to drink. Okay, let's get some food too. I'm going to stay away from the uh, lower condition stuff since it's early in the morning. 60%, hopefully that's okay. We do have the cattails. Beef jerky. I don't think anybody's gotten sick from beef jerky. Right, how are we looking as far as water capacity? We're, uh, we could probably pick up half a liter. Nice, and we do have these here, non-potable, but we can treat those. We got the pills, so let's go ahead and treat those. We're not going to be hurting for water, that's for sure. Okay. Nice. One thing that bothered me about the last uh, challenge that I did, was the whiteout challenge, is you had to store... So the challenge was to survive in the Kwanzaa garage. 
um, there's an oncoming storm and you had to prepare tons of resources before the storm arrived. So they had so many uh, water, water bottles you had to have, so much food you had to have, wood, all kinds of uh, like bullets and stuff like that. But they wanted everything on the ground or inside a container. Uh, I like things out where you can see it like this. Um, but we had to put everything on the ground if you wanted to see it. So I like uh, I like being able to put it on the table like this. Okay, let me see what else, if we're heavy with anything else. Um, I do have these books here. I can drop that book. Once we get some old man's beard, we can get rid of our uh, hydrogen peroxide. We need to repair this one. Let's repair that while, we're, while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I don't know how I missed that before. That's a really good one. Let's, uh, I'm going to repair that again if I can. Hundred percent. Hundred percent there. This is still kind of low. Now I kind of hate to fix that one up. The jeans as well. Those are not very good. Okay, we're looking pretty good. We can drop those. Okay, I'm happy with that. Nice. Okay, guys, I think this is a good place to stop right before we head out and explore. I'm not sure if we're going to be going to the farmhouse and the radio tower overlook, or if we're going to head up to the uh, the mine, the coal mine, and possibly to the forestry overlook. Uh, at any rate, I want to thank you for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this episode, let me know. Take a minute and just say hi in the comments. Um, and uh, I appreciate if you give me a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. So uh, this is Sprocket saying thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.